G'day everyone, Shane here from Australian Off-Road and today we're going through a customer's Sierra. Now this is a uh, customer's build, we're actually handing it over tomorrow. Uh, so we thought what a great opportunity this afternoon. Now it is the middle of uh, lockdown so we're not going to any elaborate locations, we're literally out the front of the building in the car park. But thought what better chance for you to sort of get a bit of a chance to have a walk around of a production model Sierra and go through some of the options this customer's taken up. You'll see actually up on top, it's pretty exciting, it's got the king size Bunda Tech up top. So let's start at the back, work our way through it and get you to have a good look at what this, uh, this Sierra is all about. You can see with this one, it is in the fighter jet grey. Uh, it's certainly been one of our more popular colours. And we've got the new little ZR beside it in the uh, Desert Storm. Uh, tan, so you can see the combination of the different colours. But let's uh, go through the Sierra. First and foremost, kitchen. One of the most important parts of your trailer. When it comes to your storage, the whole thing with the Sierra, storage is very, very important. So starting from the back, all cabinetry at the back here, all individually locking. So your stuff's gonna stay nice and safe while you're traveling around. Nice big cutlery drawer at the bottom there. And then these overheads are great as well. Individually locked, nice clear, and torque hinges on the door. So the doors will stay exactly where you want them when you put your stuff in. Now from the green one you would have seen um, in some of the earlier videos, our prototype, we have done some cabinetry changes. So we've now done the addition of this nice big sort of utensils drawer, storage drawer across the top here as well. 12 volt and USB sockets on the side. Um, this customer's actually upgraded to the airbag suspension, so you've got your airbag toggle switch, and also has a 2000 watt inverter um, and the auto changeover inverter. So plenty of power. Um, you got this battery, this system actually has 200 amp hours of battery um, and a 2000 watt inverter. So coffee machines, all that sort of stuff. So when you really want to be camping five star, you get to do it in the Sierra. Standard, you slide for your cooktop. So the ability to put any cooktop you want in here, tie down points, even bolt in a different unit, and that will all connect down to the separate bayonets down the bottom here. Fridge area, pretty straightforward. Same thing, this customer's again optioned up for the fridge slide and the barbecue slide, so it's a dual stage slide. First one, ready for your fridge to go down. Gain a nice flat deck so you can actually add your own tie down points depending on your type of fridge, what type of tie down points it has. You get to put that on there. And then your secondary barbecue slide. Gain up the top, lots more storage up the top here as well. So you can see huge big storage cavities. We really wanted to make sure that the Sierra is all about being able to pack your camping gear, leave it in here so when you do get that chance to Nick off on a Friday afternoon, pack up the wife, the kids, whoever it is. It's all still in there, load up and go away. You will see external light up the top here. It is all controlled by the FinScan, FinScan battery management system. So we can go into the lights. We're looking at the fridge, so we can actually make the fridge yellow or a white light. And that's all controlled on the fin scan and you can actually have that for your iPhone app and an Android phone app. So it's a, a great little handy tool if you're in bed in the other side and you think, geez, did I turn off the, uh, the fridge light or the lights in here? You'll be able to pick up your phone, go into the app, switch all your lights on and off from the app. All good there. All right, moving around to the front. The storage area. So up front here, 50 amp Anderson out and a solar regulator in. So if you wanted to add extra solar blankets, anything like that, you can do. Gas bottles up the front, all protected in our stone deflectors and the entire body is covered in Raptor coating. Like I said, this one's the fighter jet grey, um, but the entire body is wrapped in the, uh, is sprayed in the, the Raptor coat, which is gonna give you that really high protection. Nice big front storage boot here, all on gas struts with an internal light, which is switchable. So plenty of room in the front there, camp, ta camp chairs, your tables, all of that sort of stuff. Easy access in the front there. All on compression locks, so a fully dust sealed compartment. Then this one also does have the firewood rack on the top. A couple of locks there. And then you've got your firewood rack up on the top for all your firewood 
and gear when you're out on the trails. Pole carrier, a grain right across the full length of the front of the trailer is you have a pole carrier here. Uh, great for, like this one's got your awning spreader bars, extra tent poles, fishing rods, any of that sort of stuff. All can go uh, in the front seal there. And then a nice tight marine seal. Again, dust proof, waterproof. All right, we're around to the driver side of the trailer now. So again, on the front nose cone here, the opposite side pole carrier hatch. So you've got that full access all the way through. And one little feature you will see on the side of the trailer is you can see on this nose cone here, this is the aluminium part of the trailer. This actually comes out past the width of the, the body. Um, you've seen it on uh, the original green Sierra video, but even sort of taking it over to Fraser, driving through water and sand and what have you, that the entire front nose of this was absolutely covered with material, sand, debris, the whole lot, yet the side of the trailer stayed very clear and all because of just that little overhang angle that actually gives it a lot more sort of protection down the side of the trailer, especially on your kitchen side. There's nothing worse when you pull up at camp and all your kitchen's dirty and you're leaning up against it, especially after you've had a shower. So having that little, uh, little edge there, while some people might think it looks a bit funny, it does a huge difference to keeping the side of your trailer nice and clean when you're on the trails. Again, more storage lockers on the top here. This one ready for handover, so it's got all the peg bags, your kit for your awning, little extra gutter awnings, spare wheel races, extra solar wire, so all your kit that comes with the trailer when it's first handed over, all your little extras. And then another big storage option storage locker down the bottom here. You can see this one has actually been upgraded so it's running two batteries. So we built a nice little vented cabinet um, around them so they've got plenty of room to breathe and easy access to it. So if you ever need to change your batteries, check terminal connections, easy to get into there. Your 240 inlet, so your power inlet, so when you're at home or at a caravan park, if you ever go to a caravan park, you can pump some power into it. And you do also have your water outlet on this side as well. So again, another tight marine seal. And you'll see here, you've got your cold water tap and then your hot water inlet. So if you're running a separate gas, water, gas hot water system, you can actually run your water, cold water out through your gas hot water and feed it back into here. And this is what will give you hot water on your kitchen side of your trailer. And to keep it nice and easy, you've got another little gas bayonet down the bottom here. Your bedroom area, we'll open it up from the outside. So again, this one's ready to hand over tomorrow. You'll see inside, you've got your different ladders. So with the Bundu Tech up top, you got a nice big ladder for that one. Plus all your, also your rear entry ladder and a little step. But you can see you've got your hatches up the top here. So you do have storage and access from inside your bed area into the top storage on the other side. And you've also got double USBs and double 12 volt sockets on that side, plus also your stalk lights for reading in bed. One little thing that this uh, customer has fitted is an extra extraction fan up on the roof. So it's actually a little pop-up lid and you can flick that on. So naturally you've got to have good cross ventilation through the back door and the side window here. You also have your Sirocco fan inside, but they've also added an extra extraction fan up the top just to give you more, more airflow through the trailer. Lock that one down. Now you would have seen some of these before, the, the track uh, drop down showers. This is actually a, an upgraded design. So you do have the normal straight one, which would fall straight from here. Um, but this customer has designed um, and we've created a, a pivoting system. So it's literally a matter of taking that one off there, undoing that. And then with the gas strut, that now is swung away from the body of the trailer. You'd unzip their shower. that over, take bags out, and we can roll out the shower. More clips up the top there, holding it in nice and secure. I'll like this out first, get that bag over, and then that one clips out. That one clips out. And there you got your shower tent, all pre-hung, ready to go, away from the body of your trailer actually. So nice, neat little system. You do have the ability to 
pin these down, tie these down if you need to, set up your gas hot water system here, you now comply with all your gas regulations, you're away from your trailer, makes it a really neat system. All right, here we are at the rear of the trailer, um, obviously the entry point to the bedroom area, um, naturally where you've got all your most important bits. Uh, you can see with this one, um, and what most of our customers have done so far is actually optioned up the rear drop down pod, uh, which is a great change room, or even potentially an even extra sleeping quarters if you've got small children. So I'll show you how that one works. So it's literally a couple of straps on the side here. And that's all on gas struts, that comes up. And you've got your drop down point here. But before we drop down the tent, you can have a look in here. You've got your rear door. It's all unlocked, ready to go. Now you can see now with the rear door as opposed to the grey, or sorry, the green trailer originally, the original prototype, much wider rear door now, and we have it hinging the other way. So you can actually hinge this away, and it'll sit here, right there, out of your way, so you've got easy access into the rear of your sleeping area. Now with your rear drop-down tent, which you can see above us, you've got your four clips along here. So you release these clips, the tent up. So you can overnight, if you're just doing a quick changeover, you can leave this up, jump in the back, lock your door, pull your deadlock across, and you will be secure inside your sleeping area. You don't actually have to drop this down. Now though, if we want to drop the rear tent down, simply zipping down your mesh, not getting whacked in the head on the way down. and then spreading it out. Now we are on the concrete, so we don't have any room to peg it out here, but you will see the idea that this will set out nice and straight. And you do have your roll up door. So you zip up roll up doors. and your D-style door here as well. So this is what gives you access into your area. Now, this whole unit actually press studs onto the rear wall. So once you get all your press studs on, line them up. Now these re-tents are actually individually made for each trailer, so it's all a custom fit. Your little eyelets will line up here, for your ladder to clip into. And then you've got this nice big storage area in here. Now when this is all pinned out, you've got about a 1.6 meter storage room, somewhere to climb up into the back area, store your stuff, get changed, or even run like a little camp bed for a little kid down the bottom here. It's a really good addition to your trailer. And the rear light that is here, which we don't have switched on at the moment, is also a, a dual color light. So you do have the amber light and the white light uh, to keep those bugs away. Midgy mesh on both doors, um, nice sealed unit. All right, um, now packing up the rear uh, room. It's um, pretty simple. Naturally, you'll be all unpegged. If you wanna get your, rever your rear skirt, sort of zip that around to about halfway. Get that to about halfway. Same on the other side. Hold that up there. Beautiful, so you got it to about halfway on both sides. Then it's actually all a matter of scooping it up and popping it inside. Just wanna get it all up in there, bring your net around and zip it up. but it's very easy and very effective. Move this one around. And you're all in. A couple of those last little tie down cords. Poke them back up in there. And you're all tucked away. So the next part of it is just sort of giving this a bit of a spread around. Now the rear structure is all aluminium, so it can take it. So you just want to give it a bit of a move around. Then lengthen these straps. Bring these straps out. Yeah, a little bit longer. 
so they're easy to clip in. And just starting from one end, you've literally got to clip in each strap. Take a bit of the weight with one hand, clip them in. Like so. And then just literally take the weight, pull it tight. Take the weight, pull it tight. And now you have your tent nice and tightly tucked away. And back door. And spin that around. Compression locks. Now it's fully dust sealed. You do also have a deadlock and another key lock there, but this we'll just do the compression locks. Now your lid down. Clip on each side. Hold that one in. Grab your R clip. Locked up, all ready to go. All right, here we are to the last part, which is the Bundatech rooftop tent. Now with the beauty of television, I've already got my little step here and I've undone the locks on the uh, rooftop tent on both sides. So it's nice and secure tent. Now the, this family is a family of four. So they've actually designed the Sierra for mum and dad to be in the main body and the kids up top. So it's actually the king size Bundu Tech, uh, which is quite an interesting uh, unit. It's nice and spacious. And the beauty of it, it's all electric, uh, electrically operated. We've also fitted 300 watts of lightweight solar panels to the roof on a nice lightweight aluminum frame. Um, but further no more. Just so literally hold this button. And within about 25 seconds, your rooftop tent's got to be open. Just like that, rooftop tent's open. And you will be able to see inside that it does have a light and also fans inside. Uh, there's also a USB and 12 volt socket inside. Um, and on this side of the trailer, you will see the, the 50 amp Anderson powering the, uh, the rooftop tent and that solar input. So the good thing with the Bundu Tech, it is pre-wired for solar. So we added the solar panels on the top, clipped into its pre-wiring got power up to the roof. Now you've got a unit that's actually only 4.3 meters long, but can comfortably house a family of four. Great setup. Done. All right, there you have it, guys. Um, the AOR Sierra, fighter jet grey, um, airbags, 200 amp hours of lithium, uh, 2000 watt inverter, Bundu Tech king size rooftop tent, 300 watts of solar on board. Well optioned, but a really complete camper. Also, does have the Super Peg 180 degree batwing style awning. It does run both sides of the trailer and comes out over two meters. A really great setup. Uh, if you want to know more about the Sierra, the little ZR, or any of our trailers, make sure you contact us um, on the details below. Chat to myself or any of the sales guys, and we're happy to talk to you about the Sierra. Cheers.